Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be going through a small concept guys. That is, we have discussed in physics previously. I hope everyone knows this concept which we, which most of us know guys. So basically, Hall's effect, Hall effect guys. So Hall effect, when a current carrying conductor is subjected to a magnetic field, let us assume this is a conductor. So if we give an electricity in one direction so uh, let us assume that i gave electricity in this direction okay so this is our material okay so it's subjected to the magnetic field when a current carrying conductor is subjected to a magnetic field so let us assume these both are perpendicular and the magnetic field is like this up to down or door down to up that's fine so then a voltage is developed across the conductor Traverse to the current flow and perpendicular to the magnetic. So for these two it will be perpendicular guys So hence these three are in perpendicular. Those are nothing but the voltage current Voltage current and what's the other thing the magnetic field these three are going to be perpendicular So hence the Hall effect formula is this and these parameters are these that is nothing but BH is equals to I B by N E T where I is the current B is the max maximum flux that is nothing but beta or you, if in some classes you heard that beta maybe so here we will be discussing it as B and thickness T and N B the charge carrier density and E B the charge so this is the Hall's voltage sorry Hall or Hall's guys it's all up to you that voltage formula okay so now let us go through some applications so if you want to draw the diagram you can just draw it like this guys it's okay in any way okay so basically what are the applications of Hall effect so that will be your question right so basically the Hall effect is used to find whether a semiconductor is n type or p type and to determine the carrier concentration Okay guys, so now I hope everyone got a small idea on this application, right guys? So now let us go further in deep in this. So how can we identify? So basically if the terminal 2 becomes positive with respect to the terminal 1, then it is N type and if terminal 1 becomes positive with respect to 2, then it is going to P type. That's it guys. This is all about Hall's eff Hall effect. So I have just gone through basics guys. If you write these all things, you can score out of 5, you can score 3 to 4 marks guys. So if possible, please refer some textbooks or your, even your classwork or anywhere and collect few more points guys. So that those will help you to score the best. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on Hall effect. So in the next tutorial, we will be going through what will be the effects on a pn junction diode if the temperature varies so let's meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching